What's up baseball fans? Frank from Frank's Card Corner here. Today we're going to take a look at an, a binder that I have of stars and Hall of Famers whose last names have the letters G through Q. This is one of a couple of binders I have where I just store loose cards in here of, of stars of this caliber in addition to the top loaders that I have. Let's take a look. We we'll start off here with Yankee great Ron Guidry. Here's some late 70s early 80s cards of him. Followed by Tony Gwynn. One of the best hitters of the 80s and 90s, and all-time great. Some more Tony Gwynn cards from the early 1990s. It's a Fleer 94 insert card. There's a 2000 Tops 1985 Donruss Diamond King. Here's two 87 Sport Flicks of him. Moving on to some Andrew Jones, and there's some Todd Helton cards there. Got some other loose cards here mixed in from uh, from from this from last year actually. There's uh, Mookie Betts and Chris Sale and Nolan Arenado. On to Ricky Henderson, probably the all-time greatest leading hitter to ever play the game. These are some <clears throat> early 2000s and 1990s cards from him. There's some more from the late 80s and early 90s. These were uh, tops. All-Star inserts that came in rack packs back in 1987. There's some more Rickies. There's his Score Dream Team cards from 1991. Always liked those cards. Score had some nice colorful designs back then. On to Keith Hernandez. New York Mets great. One of the greatest first basemen to ever play the game. There's some nice mid-80s Hernandez cards. Bo Jackson. Stellar athlete for a number of years, two-sport two, two player, actually, as we all know. Played football and baseball. Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer. This is 1977 Topps card. Some early 80s uh, 19 Angels, uh, California Angels cards. On to Ferguson Jenkins, another Hall of Famer. These are some uh, early 80s cards of him. The big unit, Randy Johnson. There's some early 1990s cards of him. His rookie card, of course, 1989. You guys could pause the video at any time you want just to see the cards. I'm just going to keep moving just to uh, keep the, not make the video drag on too much. Here's some early to mid-2000s cards of him, along with some, uh, some 1990s cards. On to Andrew Jones, who probably is a borderline Hall of Famer. He uh, had some great years. I think he's got over 400 home runs for his career, one of the... Best center fielders I've ever seen play the game. Jim Cott, a uh, longtime pitcher. Actually, one of a few players to actually, one of only five players, I think, to actually play in four different decades. He played from 1959 to 1982, I believe. These are his early 80s cards here. I kind of caught the tail end of his career when I was collecting. Here's some Barry Larkin cards. Barry Larkin, Hall of Fame shortstop. Played for the Cincinnati Reds his whole career. His score dream team cards from the early 90s. There's a 1999 Topps All-Star insert. These kind of have like an early 1990s Donruss Elite look to them. Kind of cool looking cards. Freddie Lynn, early 80s cards of him with the California Angels. Got some Edgar Martinez cards down here. There's some Tino Martinez cards with the Seattle Mariners before he got traded to the Yankees and won those four World Series. He was a key component in that team. Pedro Martinez. Uh, there's one of his cards with the Expos before he got traded to the Red Sox. Most of these cards here are late two, late 1990s, early 2000s. And if there was uh, one guy I'd give the ball to in the last 25 years it's to win a game, it's him. He was probably the best on, on, on his best day. Best pitcher on his best day. Chipper Jones, Dave Kamen, Ichiro Suzuki, uh, Don Mattingly thrown in there. As you move on to the uh, Don Mattingly cards in the, in the, in the binder. These are some late 1980s cards of him. His 86 Tops card. There's an 87 Fleer Limited Edition. Moving on to his early 1990s cards. There's another guy who was probably, probably the best hitter of the 1980s in, in the American League, at least, for a good five years and just had his career fizzle out due to back problems. He just missed the uh, 1990s uh, Yankees championship teams. Tino Martinez actually replaced him. Uh, Greg Maddox. 300 game winner, Hall of Famer, one of the best pitchers of his of his era. 
There's some very interesting stats on Greg Maddox. If you Google on Google around, he's got some really, really bizarre, puzzling stats about him. Guy used to throw, you know, 70, 70 pitches in complete games. Unbelievable. Very rarely done today. Willie McCovey, Tug McGraw. On to Mark McGuire, who was probably one of my favorites growing up. I used to love watching this guy hit, and it's just too bad he got caught up in the steroid scandal, but I have to still admit that uh, 1998 was one of the when he broke that record, it was one of the, the most emotional days in baseball I've ever watched. He really, him and Sammy Sosa with that, that race really, really, really brought baseball back and brought, brought, actually brought the nation together watching baseball. This is actually a reprint of his 1985 rookie card. As we move on to Paul Molitor, here's some 1980s and early 1990s cards of uh, Paul Molitor. <clears throat> Hall of Famer. Joe Morgan. Some early 80s cards of Joe Morgan, part of the Big Red Machine back in the 70s. There's two Derek Jeter cards down there. This is a Hobby Master insert. Jack Morris, Hall of Fame picture. There's a couple of his early 80s cards. His rookie card was 1978. I have a couple of those in my uh, Stars and Rookies video with the top loaders. You can see those. This is his 1982 Fleer card. This, this to me is one of the ugliest baseball cards ever, ever photographed. I mean, just look at that. It, it's, he's like cut off from the card. It's like, I don't know what they were thinking when they, <clears throat> when they decided to use that picture. It's just a horrible looking card. Here's a Mark Mulder, big picture with the 80s, with the Oakland A's for a while. Back when they had the Zito, Zito Mulder and uh, Tim Hudson days back in the early 2000s. They had a great pitching staff, the Oakland Athletics. Dale Murphy, some early to mid 80s cards from him. Murphy should be in the Hall of Fame in my opinion. Two MVPs back in 1982 and 1983. Moving on to Eddie Murray. Here's some mid 1980s cards of Eddie Murray here. Getting into his early 90s, there's a 1993 Donruss Diamond King. Some more 1990s Eddie Murray cards. Mike Mussina just made the Hall of Fame this year. Well deserved in my opinion. He was a workhorse of a pitcher. Some people may argue he only won 20 games one time in his 19 or 20 year career, whatever it is. But look at how many times he won 17, 18, and 19. The guy was only had one losing season and he was just he just dominated wherever he went. He was he is definitely a Hall of Famer in my opinion. Phil Necro, knuckleballer. Here's some early 1980s cards of him, Atlanta Braves. John Olerud, great hitter back in the early 1990s. Spent a few years with my New York Mets on their World Series team back in 2000. Big Poppy David Ortiz, a couple of cards from him. Rafael Palmero, another premier hitter back in the 80s and all through the 1990s and part of the 2000s. Too bad he got caught with the steroid scandal. This guy is a 500 home run, 3,000 hit club guy. He's a surefire Hall of Famer. It's just too bad his reputation got damaged with that. He was a phenomenal hitter, that guy. Some more cards of Raphael. Dave Parker, part of the 1979 We Are Family World Champion, World Champion Pittsburgh Pirates. There's some early 1980s cards of him. That's his 81 Tops, 1981 Kellogg's. This is 1982 cards. Tony Perez, a couple of cards of him with the Expos and the, and the Red Sox. He was part of the big red machine like Joe Morgan was back in the 1970s. A couple of Gable Ed Perry cards. I caught the tail end of his career in collecting. He retired, I believe, in 1983. I started collecting in 1980. Those are his last few cards there. Mike Piazza, probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest, hitting catcher of all time, along with Johnny Bench. Some Lou Pinella cards. Lou had some good years with the Yankees. He went on to be a really well-known manager back in the 1990s and 2000s. He was real, real, real good manager and got into a lot of entertaining fights on the uh, arguments on the on the on the ball field as well. Kirby Puckett, some late 1980s and early 90s cards of him. His dream team card right there, 1991 score. That's his 87 tops right base and all-star card. Some more puckets from the early 1990s. I have his rookie cards in the uh, in my other video that I mentioned before, the uh, the stars and uh, rookies top loaders video. A couple more puckets. 
This is Sport Flick card. Another one of his Dream Team cards. A couple of more Maguires. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, there's some Albert Pujols at the bottom. I only had a couple of Albert Pujols here. I have the rest of them in my top loaders. Tim Raines, recent Hall of Famer. This is a couple of his early cards. His rookie was 1981. These are his 82, 83, and 84 tops cards. A couple of Tommy Lasorda manager cards. Always like Tommy Lasorda, just from a celebrity standpoint alone. Saved a lot of his cards, the managerial ones that I have. And a couple of miscellaneous guys in the back here. Ross Grimsley, there's a 1970 Topps Al Oliver. 1975 Topps Al Oliver. I always liked these older 70s designs. They were really, really nice. Hard to find in good condition. Bob Horner, Roger Maris highlight card, Kent Herbeck. A couple of inserts here of Walter Johnson and Juan Marichal. And a couple of more of Jerry Kuzman, Lance Parrish, Tony Pena, Daryl Porter, Harvey Keane, Mickey Lolich, 1980, Greg Luzinski. And that's it. A couple of Jim Hunters, Davey Lopes, Randy Myers, and some more Luzinskis there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to check out my other videos. Talk to you soon.